Alright guys, welcome to Drake's Kitchen, and today we're learning how to do grapefruit. This is how you're going to peel this sucker. Make sure, well first things first, you got to make sure you pick the right grapefruit. So you want to get one that's firm in texture, not super squishy, and heavy for its weight. Obviously we'll find one with no blemishes, a dark pink or a dark yellow, doesn't matter, either are fine. The darker on the outside, the darker it's going to be on the inside. Um, you can either slice them or just peel them normally, but you can kind of, I'll just show it to you. Alright, so this is the one with the darker outside. It's really not much of a difference. You can tell the pink is a little bit deeper pink. One of the tricks for the grapefruit to make it easier to peel is to refrigerate it. When you refrigerate it, it keeps the texture firm and it keeps it from the juice just getting everywhere. If you peel a grapefruit that's actually room temperature, it's gonna it's gonna fall apart when you peel it. So you see how this one when you peel it it kind of peels off in chunks. This is the pith. This stuff is really, really bitter. It's kind of why a lot of people choose not to eat the grapefruit, because it's bitter. It's high in narcogen, oh, which is actually causing it to be bitter, but it's actually good for you. Um, it's a detoxification. It actually detoxes your body. Your body actually creates an um, auto-response when, when it eats something that's bitter. It automatically just uh, activates your liver, and it starts purging toxins. So that's why they say grapefruit's really good for you. Grapefruit's also good for lowering blood sugar. There's a lot of acid in it, so it actually um, causes the... Uh, they call it an am amylose reaction. Basically, it's um, some glands inside your mouth uh, that break down sugar as soon as you eat it, or bread, flour, or whatever, any of the different um, things that classify as sugar. And it actually inhibits that from occurring, so that's why they say grapefruit's good for lowering blood sugar. And it's also got fiber. You can kind of see how this one's just a little bit darker in color. You can't tell big time, but if you put them side by side, you can kind of tell. This one's the dark pink on the outside, this one's the light pink. It's not bad if there's seeds in the grapefruits, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just how they are. You gotta make sure when you pick out a grapefruit or when you're getting grapefruits, you get ones that are heavy for its weight. Um, it doesn't have to be huge in size, but the bigger it is, the more the more bang you're gonna get for the buck, because obviously a lot of the waste is gonna be going into that peel when they sell the bags at the grocery stores, they charge you per pound. So when you're getting the grapefruit, um, in order to, a lot of people say, oh man, they don't like grapefruit because it's, it's really bitter. But yeah, the reason is this white stuff on the outside, this is gonna cause the grapefruit to be really, really bitter. So just get a grapefruit and just get a grapefruit and peel it uh, and get rid of the white pith on the outside, and that'll make it not as bitter. It'll make it taste a lot better and actually edible. But if you want to cleanse your body, go ahead and eat that pith. Very bitter. Method for peeling the grapefruit after you get the rind off or the pith off is to peel this white outside off, and then there's like a little sheath. You can kind of see it right here. Peel this off. And then you'll be able to get under this and split in between the sheath and pull out the goods. This is the stuff that tastes good. And then you can just peel off each sheath to the next. To the next. To the next. And that's really how the process goes. It's pretty repetitive, but this is how you can peel the grapefruit and get some fruit that doesn't taste as bitter. There's also an easier, easier method if you want to do it. Um, just, just cut it in half and serve it with a spoon. But this way you can actually serve it up or put it in salads or recipes because you, you can't always just throw in a huge chunk of grapefruit in a salad. So another method is you just take the grapefruit, simply just cut it right in half. This is the, the bottom of the grapefruit, this is the top. You just go straight in half, side to side. And you can kind of see how it's split up in there. And you literally can just take a spoon and scoop it out. Just like this. And they just come out. And you can just eat it as is. Very easy to do. And that's how you peel a grapefruit. Thanks for watching, guys.